Welcome oh, back. Geez. We are going to do some forearm training. Give you those uh, those mighty mitts uh, for strong grip and a, arms yeah. and complete arm development. You know, one of the areas you could tell uh, if somebody actually works out with heavy weight or if somebody's got real world strength. Let's be honest, is the forearms. That's right. You can usually tell when someone does hard, we, hard labor. Can just we, picking heavy weight up. Can we yeah. please preface this? Uh, YouTube, uh, bef you know, this clickbait YouTube that we're doing right now <laughs> before that we all agree that nothing is going to develop forearms better than just lifting some heavy ass weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah you, step one, uh, you should just lift weights. Lifting, uh, lifting good, heavy dumbbells, barbell exercises will develop the forearms. Like You'll you know, get like great forearm development, but there's a lot of people out there who want to take it a step further. You have uh, grapplers who want stronger grips, um, other, other types of athletes. You have uh, people who work with their hands. And, you know, the truth is, uh, nowadays people work in tech quite a bit, and you get a lot of people with carpal tunnel issues, and some of that comes from weaknesses right. in the forearm. Agreed. So Agreed. Um, back in the day, bodybuilders and strongmen used to prioritize strengthening the forearms because this was before the invention of things like wrist wraps and machines where you don't necessarily need to be as real world strong as you did uh, back then. So I'll kick it off with one of my favorite exercises, the behind the back wrist curl. Uh, so we're going to use a barbell for this movement. And what you want to do is you want to grab the barbell with a relatively close grip, take the bar off the rack, and I'm going to clear myself from the rack. And what I want to do is... I Notice take... we had Sal do this because his ass is much smaller than Justin's. <laughs> That's correct. I use, Great uh, point, Adam. I Great put point. my thumb on the same side of the bar as my fingers because that's gonna give me better leverage to do this particular exercise. Now the beginning of the movement is actually down here. I wanna involve some of that grip strength along with the wrist curl strength. So I start down here, I grip the bar, then I curl the bar up with my forearms, then I come back down and unwind my fingers. So a full rep looks just like this. And you'll be surprised at how much weight you can use at this when you really start to develop those forearm muscles. Great exercise, it was a favorite of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think, used to do those quite a Fantastic. bit as well. Fantastic. Now, I like whenever I'm doing a muscle, especially if it's a, a small muscle like the forearms, to do something that has a lot of other carryover. So I, I chose the farmer carries for uh, an exercise. And this is a, a great, great overall posture, strength, grip, trap, shoulders, a lot of things going on uh, when you do farmer carries, but incredible uh, for grip strength and forearms. So, you know, I'll grab a pair of kettlebells, Dumbbells work just as fine too. Uh, I think these ones are like 50 or 40. They're at least a thousand pounds each. Yeah, some, I think they're a thousand pounds each actually. So <laughs> give me a second while I pick these up. In kilos. <clears throat> but before I even start walking, I want to retract, depress those shoulders, get a good tight grip on the kettlebells, and then I'm going to just walk, working on my posture the same time that I'm working on my grip strength uh, with the kettlebells. Now that movement definitely uh, can challenge the forearms. You want to, of course, with good form, challenge yourself in terms of how much weight you can actually walk with. Uh, you'd be surprised at just how much this will burn the muscles of the hands and forearms. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of benefits to it, obviously, like you're in good posture with that too. It's sort of solidifying that position, retracting, depressing the shoulders, but also you got that isometric contraction out of the forearms. So. Excellent. Now, Justin, Lots you were going to show the Zotman curl? He stole my exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, uh, to put that out there ahead of time, so the Zotman curl. Um, this is a forgotten movement. They haven't showed, nobody does these anymore. Great forearm exercise. It was popular with old time bodybuilders way back in the day. Right, so as you're going to curl, right, we're supinating and then we're gonna come around and then we're gonna pronate on the way back. So it's actually working on uh, the supinating action of the bicep as well, but on the way down. Some pronator terrace going on Well, there. so what happens on the way down is you get a lot of this brachioradialis muscle here, this thick part of the top of the forearm right over here. I used to do these all the time at the end of my workout. You get the dual benefit of working the biceps as well, but on the way down again, very challenging for the top of the forearm. Notice he's got like, lightweight too. It does not take much weight with the Zotman curls for sure. No. I can, I can bicep curl a lot more than I can Zotman curl for sure. Absolutely. So. Um, named after a guy whose last name was Zotman, I believe. I'm not quite <laughs> Let's sure. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Yeah. So uh, we post a new video every day, so subscribe to our channel. Also, 30 days of coaching. It's free. It's available at mindpumpmedia.com. Uh.